Good morning. We are lucky enough to be joined by another fine fellow from the Isthmus. It's not Jason Joyce this time. It's Andre Darlington, and he is here to tell us about uh, the 50 must-eats in Madison. This is something that you put together uh, yourself. Andre, first of all, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me on. I, I appreciate that. you stopping by and hanging out with us for a little bit here. Um, 50 must-eats. Tell me what this is about. How did you come up with this? What What's in it? What can folks expect? Well, the 50 must-eats sort of started actually as a, almost a love letter to Madison. I was on, a, and I, I was on an airplane um, coming back from Los Angeles and for whatever reason I decided to think about the things that I would miss if I had left Madison mm -hmm. or the things that I would like to show guests that come to Madison, there's sort of a, and um, now that I've been writing for, for the Isthmus for a little while and doing the food reviews, people ask me a lot, what are some of your favorite things around town? Okay. So I just decided to start jotting down on a napkin, what are some of my favorite <laughs> things around town? Um, and it sort of turned into, um, I, I sort of limited it to 50, um, which That's was actually good. kind of hard. Um, <laughs> it was a nice, you know, a nice, a nice number. Um, and uh, it, it sort of it, it blew up into this thing uh, that we're, we're running into the, into the dining guide, um, which came out on Thursday. And now, uh, <clears throat> this, this 50 Must Eats, it is, uh, like you said, it's a collection of foods that you really get a kick out of. Now, you didn't sit down and eat all of this at one time. I did not. This was, a, I collected <laughs> over a period of time. There were things I knew about already. Uh, things that, I, I think a lot of the things that are in the list, people, a lot of them people will recognize. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, there's like the Plaza Burger in there. Everybody knows about that. Uh, the, yes. The apple the fritters, mm -hmm. uh, you know, at Greenbush, um, those kind of things. Uh, the, the Scrambler, Mickey's Dairy Bar. These are things that a lot of Madisonians eat and love. And then I hope that there's a few things that maybe people wouldn't recognize in there that may be a little more obscure that they can discover. Uh, give me an idea. You mentioned, because uh, I think Madison does have some pretty iconic eateries. Uh, there are definitely those things like the Plaza Burger that just everyone knows about. What are one of the, what's one of the more obscure things that you found that you really get a kick out of? Um, one of the ones is a, a 4 and 20 bakery over on the east side, which is okay. a new bakery, although the people came from the Latois La family. Okay. Um, that we're doing Cafe Soleil. But they run a little bakery over on the east side that maybe a lot of people that don't live in the neighborhood don't know about. Okay. Um, one of the things that's in the 50 Eats is their Pop-Tart. And you think of Pop-Tarts as sort of being these... You know, they're, they look better on the box <laughs> than they are when you eat them, right? right. They, you open it up, and it's cardboard, and then some hot goo comes out, and you're like, ah, oh, <laughs> it's not really what I wanted for breakfast. Right, yeah. But if you get one of their Pop-Tarts, which is handmade oh, uh, wow, from okay. scratch, it's phenomenal. It's kind of what you always wanted a Pop-Tart to be. So that's one of the more, uh, you know, may, it's not obscure, but one of the more the things that maybe people would, wouldn't known. know about. Okay, that, that sounds amazing. A homemade it, A homemade Pop-Tart. Pop -tart. Yes. That, that's what the, that's <laughs> it's as good as it sounds. That is something I guarantee you mom did not make for you. <laughs> I promise you that. Andre, we're out of time. I appreciate it so much. Now, the piece is already out. It came out on Thursday. Correct. Uh, folks can find it in the Isthmus. Yep, and we're uh, doing a hashtag Mad City Must Eats on Twitter uh, so people can join in the conversation and tell us what their best seats are. All right, Andre, we appreciate it so, you much. so much. Thank, thank you for, for stopping on. by. Thank you. Uh, if you get a chance, pick up a copy of the Isthmus and check out Madison's 50 Must Eats.